is autistic and she's four years old and she is diagnosed autistic. It wasn't a self-diagnosis, it was um, a whole bunch of other people in our community and even myself um, that had these concerns and eventually her, the pediatric, we got sent to a pediatric, our nurse practitioner sent us to a pediatrician to diagnose her. Boss was diagnosed with autism at two years old. There's a lot of talk about kids being, kids who have autism are actually psychic kids and they have these great abilities and they see things and this world is just very different from the, the world that they know and that the world that they're perceiving and see because they're so intuitive, they're so empath empathetic, so they don't function well and they're giving this diagnosis of autism when really um, more investigation should go into or more awareness should go into, into psychic ability and, and being an empath and all those kind of things. Um, so I find there's a lot of um, blogs and articles about that and they're written by people who have this understanding that they don't have real experience with autism like I am psychic I do have these abilities I am highly empathetic I haven't been diagnosed with autism and I had a lot of unique behaviors and um, when I was young that my parents spoke of and my parents had challenges with it's funny because a lot all pretty much all of the behaviors that they used to evaluate her and diagnose her with autism are all the behaviors and traits that I had as a kid and it was just and some of the ones that I still have now so that was really it was wild for me too I'm like that's what you're using to diagnose them that's what that's what it is it was very clear she had all the traits of autism and aut autism her pediatrician gave her a provincial diagnosis and then sent her for a hearing test visual test I believe another kind of test just to confirm and then came back and, and he also took a DNA testing with her and confirmed that she definitely is autistic, um, mild to moderate. We've had official therapy for her for the last six months actually and it's during that time at the start of it was said that she was not going to be able to attend a, a regular school, that she would have to go to a school for special needs and that was at the beginning of the the sessions and by the time of the session she actually was denied being sent to a school with special needs and she'll be going to a school with um, a typical functioning school so these are her so at the end of those sessions her therapist had said to me you know what are you doing like really what have you been doing with her I mean we give her these therapies but the, the it's incredible what work has she's done. Have you been giving her other therapies? Are you sending her somewhere else? And I was kind of a little bit shocked um, that she was saying that I didn't completely understand what she was asking me because I put her in these therapies, but there's a lot of things that I do with her at home, but I just, I thought every parent was doing these. I couldn't understand what she was saying and um, why she was so shocked that um, the boss was pro pro um, progressing so much. And so she asked me to explain to her some of the ways that I, 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 I handle situations or what I teach her or how I help her function and, and what I say to her. And I started to explain to her, wow, these are some of the things that studies have been done and proven to work and clinical trials and, and a lot of things that we do as an OT therapist and as a speech pathologist. These are a lot of the things that we, we do and we study to do and know to do. And so she was very impressed that I was doing that. And, I was doing that intuitively. I then her next question was, where do you find the time? How do you find the energy? Because this is a some of, this is a lot of work that you're doing um, with such a short amount of time. Like if you're doing this every day with her, which you must be doing it every day with her for her to have progressed this way, it's just a lot of work. And I was like, again, shocked. I'm like, I, I don't see the work. It's just natural to me it's not the work it's not like we get up and we're like oh we're gonna do this 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 and this every day sometimes i have goals and stuff or things that i see and i'm like oh i'm gonna try to you know show her something different each day but it's just our natural day we play we laugh we eat we do things it's just what i'm constantly um teaching her and i couldn't understand so then i had a meeting with her her school super support worker and she said the same thing and she's asked me do you where do I go to learn to, to do you write about this do you blog about this you should really put this down you should have a forum you know you can help a lot of parents and her, her school support worker has been coming to me asking me a lot of not how to help or you know help all the other artists but she's asked me 
oh, I noticed that. What did you do? I have a situation with this child. And not that she's asking me what to do with this child, but she's saying, do you see simulars there? And, you know, and even with um, some of the resources that parents are using in our community, like doctors or therapists, did, what's your experience with that? And all that kind of stuff. And it's just overwhelming. I said, I, I used to come home and say to my, I don't understand why they're asking me this. Like, or why are they shocked that I, you know, I could be doing this or whatever? Why is it so shocking? It's just normal. And he had to really sit me down and explain that there's sometimes I do things so naturally and it's second nature, like having this intuition and using my intuition. So, you know, um, thinking about what Sky needs and wants before she asks and acting on it, figuring out situations. It's so second nature to me that I don't even realize that I'm doing it. So when other people are like impressed by it, I'm confused. And he was showing me that there's a lot that um, I've done and, and shared with people that it could really, it has an impact on other people. He wants me to realize that. And once he said that, it really hit me that you know, although I don't like to teach, I consider myself a teacher and I feel like I don't know how, like I tried to start the video and I didn't know, should I write a plan? I didn't know. It's just to share all the things that I've actually been doing with the way, you know, we, we do things in our house that has helped her and has improved things with her. The interesting thing about her, her in this is that we've given her tools and giving her ideas and things that she can do in certain situations that are not, um, comfortable for her or just out of this world for her or different for her so that she can function in the world we haven't changed her or taught her to be different or anything we've just given her certain tools i call them that could help her just as if she had you know just a paralyzed person whose legs don't work and then you give them a wheelchair that's a tool and you know this person now is being faced with a flight of stairs and you give them a ramp and it's very interesting to, to know that if any situation if she's in any situation she doesn't have her tools these are not physical tools all the time they're like psychological tools and behaviors she doesn't have them or doesn't feel comfortable or isn't able to do them for some reason she will right back be that child who was not able to attend a typical school and have to attend to special needs school so she's definitely the ground base of her is her just really what i'm doing i'm trying to combine using my intuition to help parent teach educate help my child